Hey guys, welcome back to another video with Sorry Sam Beer Reviews, woo! And um, I did just want to post this and say thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. We're going to take a little break from our Oktoberfest and October seasonal beers today. And because uh, my amazing cousin, shout out to Grant, who you're going to see in this next video in just a few seconds once I'm done rambling. Um, but shout out for him for bringing down Breaking the Veil Brewing Company was incredible. And... Uh, Thank you for that. And I also want to apologize for my lack of content lately and stuff. It's been one of those months where just everything's kind of stacking up. And I'm, But coming up, I'm going and I'm going to have the next beer games, the next um, all sorts of stuff. More beers with Lou and stuff. I'm working on the videos right now, as you can see, and everything. And uh, tons of cool stuff coming your way. So please bear with me and thank you guys. and. Tell your friends, tell your wives, tell your, your husbands, tell everybody. Tell them to come watch because it's going to be some, some good stuff. So thank you guys. And without further ado, um, sorry if this is cringy. Hey guys, welcome back to another beer review with Sorry Sam. I'm joined here by my cousin Grant, Grant Wallace. And he brought some amazing beers down from, these are from Connecticut, right? Virginia. Virginia, okay. From Virginia. <laughs> Richmond. Mm -hmm. R Richmond, Virginia, and this is all from the Veal Brewing Company. Veal, and not Veal. Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video. Please leave no. a like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help us out. And uh, thank you again for clicking on the video. Mm -hmm. So the first ones we have today are the Never Forever by The Veal. Well, they're both from The Veal. And then we Breaking also the have the Erase the Moon, and we're gonna be trying those out today. So thank you guys, and stay tuned. So the first one we're doing today is the, I keep forgetting the name of these, Never Forever from the Veal Brewing Company. Veal! Uh, this is a sour, and we did try this one before, right? It was, it was pretty, uh, but it was, it was flat though, so, <laughs> so I haven't had it in its full, its full glory, but to start it off, I really like the can on this one. Normally you don't see too many pink cans, and that, I don't know, to me that sticks out. I'm always looking for something that's gonna grab my attention, and it looks cool. So we'll do the ASMR opening. Get real close. It's got the recycler die on it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's recycle. There you go. <laughs> I can assume a lot of this. Ooh. Ah. There's a big bubble. There you go. Somebody told me that was good luck to have a bubble in your beer. I don't know why. But we'll do the smell test and smell it out. Is your glass clean? Good enough. <laughs> it's so water. <laughs> oh shit, I messed up that pour. Wow, the color is crazy on this one. It's got a real like dark, it's almost like a juice color to it. That's wild for, for a beer. Mm. Super, it. super fruity. <laughs> yeah, it is. It kind of smells like high C. Like that, um, the kids drink. It's like a guava mango juice. Mm -hmm. But it smells good. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. Like I've had some beers that like, I just about wanted to dump it out right there after smelling it. This one smells, it smells delightful. And it's a nice break from all the pumpkin-y beer I've been drinking and stuff throughout this season. But we'll get into it and we'll see how it tastes. Cheers. Yep. Pinky's up as always. Oh wow, that's it's, it's <laughs> so much better when it's not flat. <laughs> oh, it's nice sour. And, it is. It's very sour. I mean, it's a little tart too, which I think adds to the the sourness. But super fruity. It's really good. I can you can really kind of taste. I think it is a, a pomegranate that's in it. I think or it could be a guava. I don't know. I didn't read the bottle. Yet. Passion fruit. Passion fruit. You can really. I mean, it's it's a tough. It's a tough taste to put your tongue on, but it's really good. So, personally, and we'll read a little bit more about this guy. So this is a double passion fruit goose ale. It's 5.1%, and again, from the, the Vale Brewing Company. They don't have a description on it, but that's okay. They have the government warning, which is fine. But, oh. <laughs> but I do, like, I do like on the can to keep very cold at all times, drink today, recycle or die. I think that's a nice touch. Save the point. Al Gore would be proud. 
And yeah, overall, I'm gonna give this, that was really good. I'm gonna give this beer. <laughs> give it another sip real quick. Go for it. I'm gonna give this guy a nine, nine recycles out of, out of 10. Nine out of 10. This is really good. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you're giving it a nine. It's, it's a nine too. It's so good. Um, Tastes like juice. It does. It literally, it could be dangerous because it, it goes down so smooth too, which is another nice factor to it. And yeah, blown away. Speechless. It's speechless. <laughs> but we'll do the next one and we'll get into it. Sammy Sue, you said the name wrong like six times. What are you doing? Get your stuff together. Nah, you didn't contact my agent for filming me. I'm not, I'm not doing this for free. So the next one we're gonna do is the Erase the Moon by the Breaking Veil Brewing Company. Oh my God, um, Sammy Sue is breaking right the veil. The this one doesn't have the wraparound uh, label that the other one did, but it's really like trippy. It's got three lines. It looks like line, four, lines. four lines. I don't know, but I can't tell if they're the same lines or what. And it's what, I don't know. I feel like if you were on like an acid trip, this would look weird or something. <laughs> but it's it's interesting. It's definitely eye grabbing. And this this one we're a little scared of. It's a quadruple dry hopped double IPA, eight percent. So it's definitely going to be hoppy from what we've <laughs> researched. <laughs> but it could be very good. Who knows? You know we. Very hazy. Yeah, definitely hazy. Good color. It looks, it looks like a solid beer, but yeah, I can't see anything through it. It's it is up for you guys. It's very, like if I, if I were to put this up to the camera, you wouldn't be able to see anything, but it's good, good color for, especially with how hoppy it probably is, it's, that's probably what you want to see. We'll do the smell right, test. Smell yeah. test? Yeah. You can go ahead, my allergies. You've got COVID. No, my freaking, freaking allergies have been I got like one working nostril. Oh! Definitely an IPA. <laughs> yeah, I can smell the hops. <laughs> okay. What? Let's, just, we'll, let's stop, we'll stop procrastinating. Cheers. It's definitely hoppy, but it's not overpowering. Oh, right at the end. Yeah, it's not. Over, it's really smooth for, especially it's eight percent too. Which it's crazy how smooth it is. But that's something that this this brewing company seems to really do well. Is it doesn't like a lot of beers you'll have. They'll kind of sucker punch you in the yeah. gut, like when you're drinking them. They're so smooth. <laughs> they're so smooth. It, it almost makes it hard to judge because there's no profound like detail to it, but. I mean, smooth is just what I would describe them as. They're super hoppy. Yeah, they definitely have. They definitely have a little bit of. I don't know how to describe it. Like a grit as you're drinking it. But that by itself really isn't that bad. Like, the finish is like. Oh yeah, it's no bite. I know. Like it kind of. It kind of takes you up, and it's just like like you're expecting a big drop, but then it's just like a smooth little cushiony. Flop. But this one, what do you think you're gonna give this guy? I'm gonna. It's up there. It's, it's good. It's I'd definitely say like a, like an eight five. That's kind of. I'm thinking it's a really good. It's a really good IPA. I'm gonna give it an eight. I want a little more flavor though. Yeah, because there's no. Again, you kind of just get that initial bite, but it doesn't have any distinguishing like. It's not really citrusy. It's not really fruity. Doesn't really taste like that much beer. Well, I mean, it tastes like beer. But... Ten out of ten on the smoothness, but yeah, but it's flavor-wise, I want a little more. No, yeah, there's there's not too much to it. But overall, eight out of ten is not bad whatsoever. That's a good beer. So. Mm. so we'll get to the last part. Decide which one was our favorite. So those were the two beers we had today from the the Veal Brewing Company. What part of they and don't you understand? Boy, were they good! Holy smokes! Me and Grant were just talking about like how. They're actually like world renowned, like they're not just some mom and pop brewing company that's only known in Virginia <laughs> or stuff like like they're and I believe it, this beer was really good. And it very rarely do I kind of get like this type of I don't want to say just craft brewing, but this like degree of craft brewing and stuff where it's like a craft brewing company that's really kind of making its way to the top shelf and stuff like that. And, that's very nice to see. I'm, I'm happy, like, I like to see that type of stuff. Because I mean, as much as PBR and all that's good, it's nice to have a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of flavor and changeability to it. 
but we decided and we talked it over. And thank you guys again for making this into this far into the video. And please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. But um, without further ado, would you like to? And the winner is. <laughs> Uh, there it goes. Yeah, that was so good. So good. It's just it's smooth, the drinkability to it. And pink can. The <laughs> pink can. <laughs> I get it. Hey, the pink can helps, all right? It stands out. But this was just. But we'll. Um, so that was the favorite, and we'll pour them up. So. <laughs> Epic transition time. <laughs> so, because these are too good of beers to really chug the whole can, we decided we're going to do half and half. This is the. Uh, erase the moon, and then this is the never forever. And I was pointed out by a small French bulldog that it's uh, veil, not veal. So it's not it's not lamb. It's, it's it's breaking the veil. I hope I haven't been saying that this whole video, but if I did, I'm correcting it now. So, <laughs> so here we go. Cheers. Thank you, Grant. And I'll leave a link in the description if he wants me you you guys to find him. Or anywhere. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys for watching and cool. Let's get it done. Cheers. Oh. Ooh. It's definitely tough with the hops. <laughs> it's hoppy. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> you ready? You don't have to check this if you don't want to. Yeah, we got the juice. Just juice. Okay. <laughs> I don't want. To. Thank you guys. God bless. Ooh. That was kind of tough to chug. It's kind of like a smoothie. Yeah, it was like thick. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys the next time.